Okay, this is the second video of my dad. He's going to tell us some more things there. The, uh, thank you, Dave. The uh, way it worked is that once I took the doxel and the uh, other, then it was about three months, and it was such a powerful drug that it killed the cancer and put me in remission. But I didn't know exactly the benefit of it. And I was still kind of wondering, so I went to MD Anderson in Houston, Texas with Amy because she had been familiar with several outstanding hospitals there. And I went to HD, uh, MD Anderson, uh, which was a specialist field in the multiple myeloma cancer field, and uh, talked to the world's leader leading doctor who was uh, Donna Weber from that hospital who gave me 15, authorized for me, 15 tests, three a day for a week. And at the end of the testing, Amy and I was sat in front of Donna Weber, Dr. Donna Weber and she told me, your cancer level is so low, there is no recommended treatments for you. Essentially, I was in remission. So she reported her report to Dr. Warren S. Paroli, who was from North, uh, North County Oncology in Oceanside, California. Uh, and the date for that was approximately uh, I'd say the end of January 2014 and so that report came to him he called me and he said looks like you got a second opinion on this uh, cancer treatment we've been giving you and you're in remission basically come in every three months and and we'll do a blood test on you every three months and determine if you need more cancer treatment at any time. If you get it again, then we'll be treating you with chemotherapy again. So, as I was exposed to the cancer treatment of the doxel and the Velcade, it was so powerful that it killed the nerve cells in my legs and my feet. So they they tingle, and uh, wig, and and I have to kind of wiggle my feet to get any feeling, and uh, I realize that there's a deficiency in the uh, um, right. ner nerve cells. Excuse me, David. 